man. It's a really sad day today. After almost exactly 10 years and 430 chapters, the My Hero Academia manga has officially ended today. And that really saddens me. I mean, My Hero Academia was like one of the first 10 animes I ever watched, and it was in fact the first manga I ever got on my way to read. I still remember the date, it was 5 days before chapter 100 released, and I binge read like 100 chapters before that, and I seriously struggled with reading from right to left. I mean, I usually also struggle with reading from left to right as well. Now, the ending itself was actually kind of really good. Honestly, not a lot of times does a manga series actually kind of struggle with its story during the serialization and then it gets a borderline perfect ending, but it's known to happen and I think My Hero Academia is one of those shows. The first thing that actually makes this ending really good is not even in this chapter, it's the fact that for the past, what, five chapters we actually got a legit epilogue. Because a lot of series, a lot of shonen series especially, when they end, they decided to end just like, you know, the final fight is happening, Naruto and Sasuke are throwing hands, and then BAM, six, that's chapter 699 ends with them making up, and then chapter 700 is just like a quick montage of everybody's futures. But here in My Hero Academia, what the author Koi Horikoshi did, the absolute GOAT, is actually gave us time to kind of like readjust and to see like in which direction the character in this world will go in. And that just continues perfectly into this chapter where you see everybody's mindset, headspace and throughout the chapter we get to witness something really depressing and it's our main character, Deku, slowly losing the embers. Like it's exactly the same thing with All Might, how we got to see him losing the embers throughout the series and well, up to chapter 100, and now we get to see it with Deku after following him and wanting him to become the number one hero, and now he loses one for all, and a lot of people are angry about that. But me? I have a different take. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I, I haven't seen you there. Well, speaking of happy endings, uh, Horikoshi managed to deliver like not just an emotional and gut-wrenching ending with this chapter 430 but also managed to make it really happy inspiring and hopeful because yeah the entire chapter is super depressing with Deku slowly like his embers fading away and almost as if he himself is fading away away from class 1a but towards the end you we get to find out that he not only remained a hero with only using his gadgets, which is, by the way, the original idea Horikoshi had for Deku's character, with him being a hero in a world full of superheroes with superpowers but him using gadgets, he actually delivered that, and not only that, he made Deku the new symbol of peace. Like, all, like even with One For All, with One For All he accomplished his mission, and even after we find out he was like the greatest, literally was the greatest hero in the world like he said he would become all the way back in chapter one and to make it so come together like he rema managed to remain a hero using the suit that his mentor all might gave to him just like he gave him powers the first time with one for all uh -oh. and it's not even just deco basically every character got their perfect ending not in the sense that you know only good things happen but like all the characters and character arcs were wrapped up perfectly in the previous arc and in the epilogue and now in this time skip. It's rare to see, like say what you will about the story of My Hero Academia, it had a lot of ups and a lot of downs. But at the end of the day, what Horikoshi did is it he always stuck to his characters, even if the story in general might have been not up to par, but the characters themselves are always front and center and the character arcs of every single character, yes, even Deku included, was always, always on point. By the way, if you want to see a video of me breaking down just when and how My Hero Academia actually kind of fell from grace, 
leave it in the comments down below if there's enough demand i'll make the video but man like seeing all these characters like grown up and deku himself actually entering ua as a teacher this time after just like all my becoming the well basically the number one hero it's actually it's quite sad because you know like i remember like even just recently i i watched like the fight with all might and all for one with my like, dear dear friend kai and we used to gush about my hair academia shit on it a lot as well because again there were like ups and downs man ups and downs by the end of the day it was a really special story to a lot of people and it inspired a lot of people just like heroes do to create all these amazing things i mean heck, i i me and kai still like look to all might in our darkest times just just to find inspiration and to you know just keep a smile on your face and just become the number one hero in the world that's kind of corny but yes this does give me hope it gives me hope in some ways that you well you, dear viewers, will find out in well, maybe a couple of months, maybe a couple of years. But also gives me hope for Kori Koshi because although he did have ups and downs with this series, I think that he learned a lot and I truly believe that his next series will be close to a masterpiece with his beautiful art and amazing character writing. He just needs to fix the story and that's about it. So yeah, I'm super excited to see his next work. And thank you for everything, Horikoshi Sensei. Oh. Now enjoy my beautiful cover of my favorite My Hero Academia opening. Tojitsu kiri soite, so eno oide, tobitata tokushie. Kokai mo ionaku hitse, hitse, tobi ensha ito mirenaida, so de yu e agake. Shinkiro Namida no Kabo Higashte Ikseso Sayonara Yukazaru Enai Nani o Ushina Totoe Wasure Nai Koyashimo o Kuzokmo Mune ni Kazate Kujitsu Kir Saite so eno o ide tobi tata tokushie sora ni utai ba kokai mo ijunaku hisen hisen tochikaru ni wa musugita mirai e agake.